Papunta na tayo sa exciting part. Ayan. So, I was watching K-drama after dinner. Kami ng tita ko dun sa America. So, din after dinner yon. So, it was like 7.30 p.m. or 8 p.m. So, mga ganun. And, lo and behold, I received an email from YouTube. Sabi ni YouTube sa akin, Geraldine Gallardo, we have removed your channel from YouTube. So, sabi ko, what? Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And so, for today's video, actually, ngayon lang tayo nag-sit down vlog ulit. So, sobrang na-miss ko to kasi nung nakaraan, nag-travel vlogs tayo. So, so kung gusto nyo i-check out yon, so, pumunta tayo for the past few weeks sa Amerika. So, panoorin nyo yun. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be part of the hashtag DinDreamDinFam. Of course, click on the notification bell para ma-notify kayo every time na may bago akong upload. So, without further ado, let's get started with the video! Okay, so siguro yung ilang sa inyo nagtataka nung mga past few weeks kung bakit nawala yung vlogs ko or yung mismong YouTube channel ko dito sa YouTube. So, ikukwento ko na lahat ng mga nangyari. And actually, gusto ko tong i-share sa inyo, sa mga katulad na ganito rin yung nangyari sa YouTube channel nila. Hindi lang sa YouTube channel, pero yung mga sa emails. Ayan, ayan. Kasi isa sa mga dahilan yan, yung mga emails na yan. And of course, awareness na rin to para maka-help rin sa lahat. Ayan. Yung topic natin for today is yung bakit or nahak yung YouTube channel ko. Ayan, so, hindi lang YouTube channel ko. Actually, kahit yung credit card ko nahak. And sobrang... Sabihin ko rin mga tips para makaiwas na rin tayo sa mga scam na ganyan. Actually, sa Amerika pa ako nito ah. So, nag-check ako lagi ng emails. Ayan, so, lagi ako nag-check ng emails kasi since yun nga, nagko-content create tayo, nag tumitingin din ako kung may mga nag-email sa atin mga sponsors. So, yung mga collaborations, yan. So, since exposed yung email ko sa social media, like sa Instagram, nakalagay dun sa bio ko na for DM or email this for inquiries, for collaborations, for sponsorship. So, nandun yung email ko. So, talaga sinadya ko yon na ilagay yung email ko kasi nga, para dun ako kontakin ng mga sponsors. And okay naman yon since yung email ko na yun is for work talaga. Uh, isa yan sa mga, di ba, nakakonek sa ano, sa social media accounts like Facebook, Instagram, yun, kung saan man nakaregister yung email nyo or sa, minsan sa bangko, di ba? So, uh, mag-ingat kayo sa lahat ng mga nakakonek sa email ninyo na naka-expose online. May nakita akong isang email na talagang natuwa ako kasi big brand siya. So, sabihin ko na yung brand para ma ma aware na maging, maging aware na rin kayo kasi since may mga for sure may mga content creators na naman dito sa video na to so ayan ah uh, yung iba talagang legit kasi ilang beses na akong nakikipag-collab through email yung ano yung communication so eto ganyan din nangyari sa akin so may big brand na nag-contact sa akin na akala ko sila talaga yon eto yung papakita ko ayan so ilalagay ko na lang rin sa screen so sis Zaful or Zaful. Ayan, official women and men fashion. So, sabi ko, wow! Official plus yung email at na nilagay niya is yung initials na pangalan niya at zaful.online. So, kasi pag mga email na like, ilalagay ko sa screen like yung .cz.us eh, usually daw scam yan. Pero ito, at zaful.online. So, sabi ko, o baka ito yung talagang official company email nila. Kaya sabi ko, oh, legit, legit to. So, little did I know, scam pala to. So, ang ganda ng proposal niya, ang ganda ng pagkakagawa ng email niya. So, usually kasi, syempre, may mga format, ganyan, may format sila, magpapakilala, ang kagaya nito. Hello, my name is Paula Campbell, and I'm the advertising manager for Zafol, or Zafol. We would like to offer you cooperation in the form of advertising our products in your YouTube video. So, okay. Ang ganda ng pagkakakompose kasi minsan, 
small letter or wrong spelling. So, ito, okay na, okay siya. So, about Zayful. So, Zayful is, uh, ayan, so, nag, ano siya, nag, about, ganyan, about our offer. So, sabi niya, ito daw gusto niya makipag, ano, sa akin, collab sa akin. We would like to, re to receive from you a separate video on your channel dedicated to the Zayful site. So, ayan, gagawa daw ako ng video in which you unpack your order, show your subscribers your new clothes, and share your emotions. So, we invite you to collect your order yourself from the things that have not yet been released to the public from our site. We will give you the opportunity to get acquainted with the new products and get what you want. Of course, it will be a gift from us. So, please let me know if you're interested in working with us so we can discuss video pricing and deadlines with you. We wish you a nice day. Plus, may nakalagay pa sa ilalim na confidentiality notice, ganyan. So, usually kasi, may mga ganyan na mga confidential, ganyan mga confid, yung mga footnotes na ganyan, na confidential yung email, ganyan, ganyan. So, hindi na ako nagtatrust dito, so hindi yan confidential. <laughs> Ayan, so, edi, wow, sabi ko, wow, ano ako, mag uh, mag endorse ako ng Zayful. So, nag-search ako. Nag-search pa ako before I replied to this email. Nag-search ako sa YouTube. Sabi ko, sino na kaya yung mga influencers or YouTubers na nakipag-collab sa Zayful or Zayful? So, nakita ko sila. Yung mga sikat, sila Ray Hermar, ganyan. Tapos, may mga ilan rin na mga uh, small YouTubers. So, sabi ko, oh, kumukuha na sila ng small YouTubers. So, that's the time when I said na, oh, legit to. And, of course, ayan, sabi niya na, um, discuss the video pricing deadlines. So, hindi siya X deal. So, sabi ko, oh, too good to be true talaga tong, ano offer na to. Plus, magkakaroon pa ako ng damit from them. So, sabi ko, okay, sige. Nag-reply ako. So, nag, yung email na receive, yung email na, ano na to, Zayful, na-receive ko siya April 21, 2022, 11.14pm dito sa Pilipinas. So, since nasa US ako nun, siguro 11.10, 9.8, Mga 8 a.m. siya doon. So, nag-reply ako ng April 22, 2.43 a.m. So, yan, yung Philippine time. So, nag-reply ako ng, Hi, I am interested in this. So, yun lang. Yun lang yung reply ko. Kasi, usually talaga, yun lang yung reply ko. Kapag gusto kong makipag-collab or ina-accept ko yung, ano nila, yung invitation nila to collab with them. So, sabi ko, Sabi nila, ayan, medyo mahaba-haba. Thanks for the answer. We would, what would be the price for such try-on promotion, uh, try-on haul promotional video? So, ano daw yung presyo ng, ano ko, ng, ng pakikipag-collab ko sa kanila? Kasi, babayaran daw nila ako, magkakaroon daw ako ng talent fee, ganyan. So, I want to tell you about the payment and other nu nuances. So, to get started, we need you to send we need to we need to send you a catalog for our computers so that you can get acquainted with the new and old uh, collection. So since yung ina offer nga nila is yung new and old collections na wala pa daw sa website nila, meron daw silang pinapa pinapa install sa akin. So ito yun no. So yung cost daw ng mga damit na ibibigay din nila sa akin is worth $1,000. So, after you select everything you need dun sa pinapa-download nila na catalog, you'll need to send us the ID, yung, yung mga ID number ng, ano, ng mga items. Next day, after the conclusion of the contract, we will send you a package and the payment for the video. So, please let me know if this type of cooperation suits you. And if you have any questions, we if you are ready to move order to, in our cooperation, tell me about it and I will send you contract with catalog for PC only for Windows. So, ayan na. Itong catalog na to, only for Windows. So, meaning, sakto, what I have right now is yung laptop ko na Windows. So, sabi ko, okay, since ganun, baka ganun talaga yung process nila. Kinadownload ko yung catalog kasi wala pa siya sa website. So, okay, sabi ko, Nag-reply ako, April 22, 3.19 a.m. So, just how many minutes lang nag-respond ako. So, sabi ko, sounds good to me. The video would cost, dude, is that okay with you? So, they replied to me instantly after 10 minutes. Sabi, sabi nila, we think this is a 
great price. So attached to the letter, a contract with the catalog and further actions. So please write to me after reviewing and installing our catalog so that I can help you if necessary. Catalog of works only on computers with Windows operating system. So that's it. Um, naglagay sila ng catalog which is PDF file siya. Wala yung contract. So usually talaga may contract yan. Kasi lahat ng mga nakikipag-collab na big brands may mga code, uh, contract or ND, non-disclosure agreement na ito yung uh, uh, between the influencer and the brand. So ito, PDF file lang siya ng catalog instruction on how to install the catalog sa laptop. So, yan. Kompleto yung nakalagay do sa, ano, sa PDF file na you need to download this catalog. Tapos may, dun sa downloadable PDF file, nakalagay doon, i-right click mo yung download, tapos papapuntahin ka sa link. So, open the downloaded archive, tapos papa-install ka ng zip file. Tapos, i-unzip mo yon and then, nandun nakalagay yung file na i-install mo. So, in Dinownload ko yun. Dinownload ko yun, tapos okay, wala naman nangyayari. Plus, nung inang-zip ko yung folder, nung inang-zip ko yung folder, i-install ko na siya, bigla nag-error. So, et, nagano ako, nag-email ako. So, nag-email ako ng April 23, 1.32 a.m. here in the Philippines. So, sabi ko, good day, I can't open the catalog. Attaches the error message. Hope you can help me with this. So, ayun, that's it. Yun yung, hindi niya na ako na-replyan. So, ah, oh, okay. Sabi ko, ang tagal nilang mag-reply. Nag-ano, nag, nag, nag talaga ako. Sabi ko, ah. Ang tagal naman nila mag-reply. So, what's happening? So, sayang naman po kasi magkano rin yung PF ko dito. Ganyan. Magkano rin yung uh, maganda rin tong content since malaki yung brand na to. So, sabi ko, ay, tagal naman nila mag-reply. So, that's it. Yun yung email namin ng scammer na yun. So, eto na. Eto na. Papunta na tayo sa exciting part. Ayan. So, I was watching K-drama after dinner. Kami ng tita ko dun sa Amerika. So, din after dinner yon. So, it was like 7.30pm or 8pm. So, mga ganun. And, lo and behold, I received an email from YouTube. Sabi ni YouTube sa akin, Geraldine Gallardo, we have removed your channel from YouTube. So, sabi ko, what? I was really shocked kasi Ano bang ano? Ano dahilan, di ba? Out of nowhere, eh, kaka-upload ko pala ng vlog ko like 2 days ago or 3 days ago, mga ganun pa lang. So, it says here, Hi Geraldine Gallardo, we have reviewed your content and found severe or repeated violations of our community guidelines. So, because of this, we have removed your channel from YouTube. So, sabi ko, what? So, everything, even lahat ng videos ko na wala, yung buong YouTube channel ko na wala. So, Sabi ni YouTube na blah blah blah. What our policy says. So, ito yung reason daw why they remove my channel. And content that encourages illegal activities or incites users to violate YouTube uh, YouTube's guidelines is not allowed on YouTube. So, we may allow depictions of such activities if they are educational or documentary in nature and not and don't help others to imitate them. So, sabi niya, when uploading a video, make sure to post as, as much as information as possible. So, in the title and description to help and your to help us and your viewers understand the primary purpose of the video. So, sabi ko, what? Ano bang video ang in-upload ko na nagpa-promote or nag-encourage ng illegal activities? Sabi ko, shocks. Tapos, hindi ko alam ha, na na-hack na pala ko noon or kasi akala ko, like, hindi naman talaga hacker yung sa email na yan. O sabi ko, ano ba yung nag-promote ng illegal activity sa videos ko? So, nag-isip ako, baka yung Las Vegas vlog ko kasi nagpakita ako doon ng mga, you know, kasi Sin City siya. So, tapos may mga sinabi pa ako ng mga bang words na, na illegal talaga dito sa Philippines which is legal naman doon sa, sa Las Vegas. So, sabi ko, 
baka yun yun. So, nag-pray ako sa Lord. Sabi ko, Lord, please, kung ano man yung, ano man yung plan dito. Uh, let your will be done and ikaw na pong bahala. And, alisin niyo po yung, yung burden sa heart ko kasi it's really, really tough. Yung, yung heart ko parang bumagsak ko. So, sabi ko, hmm, Lord, ikaw na pong bahala. And, you know what? Nakalagay dito sa email na to, the same email that YouTube sent me, nakalagay dito sa ilalim, there are steps you can take if you want to appeal this decision. So, pwede ako mag-appeal. So, kung dyan ka magsistate ng nakalagay, i-explain mo kung bakit sa tingin mo yung error yung magkakasuspend ng YouTube channel mo. So, in my case, I just wrote a one sentence. I didn't upload anything against the community guidelines and I check my videos before posting it. So, yun lang. Yun lang yun nilagay ko, submit. Tapos, inabmit ko yung form. Yung niremove ni YouTube yung channel ko, it was April 23, 11.14am. So, nagsubmit ako ng appeal na April 23, 12.56pm. Aside from that, I tweeted Team YouTube on Twitter. So, nag-tweet ako ng 1.42pm and I tweeted the screenshot. Ayan, nag-screenshot ako. So, nilagay ko doon na my channel, Geraldine Galliardo, was removed and I have no videos against the community guidelines and no copyright strikes. So, please help me return my YouTube channel back. So, tinag ko si at Team YouTube. So, they responded naman dito. But, mas nauna yung appeal ko sa uh, nasinabit ko. So, they replied that no ano, noong April 23, nag-reply sila, 5:57 p.m. So that same day na nag-appeal ako, um, four hours later, they replied na my account was compromised. So sabi ko, what compromised? Nahak ako? Parang nagduda pa ako. I doubted na nahak ako. So I submitted an appeal again at 10:17 p.m. So five hours later, nag-submit ulit ako na appeal and naglagay si ano si YouTube ng nakalagay na please submit the form dun sa the sinabi nila na, na compromise daw yung account ko please submit this form so how to fix a hacked YouTube account so ang dami nilang nilagay doon tapos ano daw palitan ko yung password blah 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 so I didn't do that kasi sabi ko hindi naman ako na hack so <laughs> that's what I believed na hindi naman talaga ako na hack so nagsubmit ako na appeal uli ng 10.17pm Tapos, 10.46pm, nag-reply sila sobrang bilis na compromise daw yung account ko. So, binibayaan ko na lang. Sabi ko, what? Maybe they have an, a system error na na-compromise daw yung account ko. So, I tweeted, Team YouTube again. So, sabi ko, sabi ko na I already submitted an appeal, ganyan. Tapos, sabi niya, thanks for letting us know. We recommend waiting for the results, sabi ni Team YouTube. Tapos, Nag-tweet ulit ako ng May 1 to 18pm. So, nakawi na ako ng Pilipinas na ito. Nasa, nasa Pilipinas na ako na ito. Sabi ko, It's been a week, still no reply or result. How long will it take? Gumano na ako. Tapos sabi ng Team YouTube na, Yung appeals daw are manually and carefully reviewed. So, it usually takes time to hear back. So, you'll definitely get an update as soon as more info is av available. So, sabi ko, ay, ba't naman ganun? Ang tagal. Eh, parang April 23 yung last na update, yung last na sabi na compromise daw, ganyan. Mga 8 days na, so almost 2 weeks na. Almost, oh. Um, lagpas na ng 1 week. So, May 6, ayan, after ilang days na. So, nag-tweet uli ako sa team. Kinreenshot ko yung email ni YouTube sa akin na my account was compromised daw. Sabi ko, this is the latest reply that I got. Is this the response to my appeal? My account was not compromised, so I believe na hindi talaga na compromise ang account ko. So, nag-reply sa team YouTube. Sabi sa akin na, looking into this, we'll circle back with an update soon. So, mabilis sila nag-reply, ah. So, yung nag-tweet uh, ako sa kanila ng screenshot, that was 3.57 a.m. sa Pilipinas, May 6. And then, they replied to me na 4.46 a.m. So, hindi ako makatulog nun. Obviously, kasi nasa Pilipinas na ako. Tapos, sabi ko, please give me an update soon. Tapos, they replied to me na 
1.46 p.m. So, ilang hours after na kasi madaling araw ako nag ano, diba? So, they DM'd me that same day. That was May 6. So, nag-DM sa sila sa akin ng 1.47 p.m. So, sabi nila, uh, while looking into your account, we have found there might have been unauthorized access. To investigate further, we're going to connect you with Creator Support who specializes in these issues. So, can you share an email address that you can still sign in into? I sent an email address that was confirming that you have now access to this form. So, they sent me a form na, um, for my email address. Lang. So, I filled out the ano yun, form. Na yun, and they said that I should fill it out it within 72 hours kasi parang nagsasara uli yung form na yun for my email address. So, uh, within one business day, magkakaroon daw si, uh, ng email. May matatanggap akong email from the creator support and they'll get back to me. So, that's it. But, they got back to me after two hours. Ayan. So, 3.42 p.m. on the same day, May 6, nag-email sa akin si Team YouTube saying that within Two business days, they will fix my channel. So, so sabi nila, Hi Geraldine, thanks for your patience. I've heard from the internal team that they confirmed that your channel was hijacked. So, ayan. Sabi nila, i-reverse daw nila lahat ng mga actions ng hijacker and like, reinstating deleted videos and channels. So, dinelete nila lahat ng videos ko and pinalitan nila ng content nila. So, sabi nila, i-change ko muna yung password ko for safety. So, yan. 4.44pm, change ko yung password ko. And, the next day, May 7, 5.31am, my YouTube channel was back. <laughs> Ayan, back na. Back talaga, back na back na ang, ano, ang YouTube channel natin. So, balik na. Balik na talaga, like, lahat-lahat. So, sinabi nila, Hi Geraldine, thanks for your continued patience without throughout this process. So good news, we just wanted to let you know that our team has finished recovering your channel. In addition to looking into your account, our specialists have taken the following actions. So the suspension on the channel has now have been resolved because you suspend the YouTube channel. Po. We have rejected the hijacker uploaded video. So. Everything that the hijacker uploaded was gone. It's all done now. Uh, lahat wala na yon. Tapos the YouTube channel is now active. So it's now back. So actually, from April 23, na retrieve YouTube channel natin ng May 7. It was kind of long, but kung alam ko lang and kung nagrespond lang ako sa link na sinan nila sa form. Na form na na compromise tao and naniwala ako na na compromise so dapat na balik nyan in just two days or one day ganyan so same day dapat na balik nyan de ba but na patagal pa and it was a long process and it was a testing kasi akala ko yung YouTube channel ko is gonna be my stable job and all but and I trusted my YouTube channel but yun pala I should not trust on the YouTube channel I should not Trust on my job itself, but I should trust in the Lord because He is the one who gives me everything. So, thank you so much, Lord, for this. Uh, even though it was kind of hard, but it really tested my faith. And thank you, still, thank you, Lord, for everything. And the balik ng YouTube channel ko. So, okay, so that's it. So I'm going to end this vlog now. Dahil nag story time lang naman tayo for this vlog and ingat ingat tayo sa mga emails guys. Huwag tayo magkiklik ng kahit na ano. May, bukod doon, kahit na na, hindi ko alam kung paano ah, pero nahack rin ng, ng hacker na to yung credit card ko. So ilalagay ko na lang dito. They tried to use my credit card for an Airbnb that's worth 39,000 pesos. And also, akala ko tapos na but recently, Nung Sabado lang, Saturday lang, last May May 28, they all they tried to use it sa Apple Apple Store that's worth 2,000 pesos and also Canadian dollars yung chine charge sa akin. So sabi ko, mawag ako sa credit card uh, sa bank na 
unauthorized yung mga ano na yun, unauthorized yung mga transactions na yun. And buti na lang, lampas siya sa credit limit ko. So, sabi ko, whoo, hindi, hindi siya na, ano, hindi siya na nakapasok sa credit card ko. And, nag-replace na lang ng card. So, yun. That's it for today's video. And I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel to be part of the hashtag Gingering Fam. Of course, click the notification bell para ma-notify kayo every time na may bago tayong upload. And don't forget to follow me on my social media account. So, I'll see you on my next videos dahil marami tayong i-upload. Marami akong nakapondo na videos for you guys. And of course, lagi ko na sinasabi, don't forget to be a blessing to other people. Bye! God bless!